Hello everyone, what's going on? This is your boy Des the King and I'm back with another video. I just um, felt inspired to do this live. Um, don't know how many people are going to watch this live but hopefully you'll see the recording and uh, hopefully uh, this is um, something that's fruitful that will be fruitful for you. Um, so the title of this is um we are all like Jonah in a way um I was reading Jonah the book of Jonah yesterday and um it's just crazy how you know he we 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 all not all of us but those who listen uh, we don't always listen to what to what God tells us to do Sometimes, depending on the situation, we're, we're scared or we're stubborn or we just don't, we just don't want to do it, you know. In Jonah's situation, he was called to uh, to preach to the city of Nivea, and these were, according to the Bible, um, a wicked city doing you know wicked things, and Jonah just didn't want to do that. And I kind of understand, I kind of understand why he wouldn't want to do that. Because um, that would definitely make you an unpopular person, you know. And and that's how it is in life. You know, God can call you to tell the truth. And the truth can be, the truth can be pretty bad. Not bad, but, you know, it can be pretty hard and tough and people don't want to hear the truth. So... So Jonah not wanting to do that, at least me personally, I can understand why he wouldn't want to do that. Because that's that's a tough assignment. But God will give you tough assignments. And the thing about it, when he gives you when he gives you a tough assignment, it's it's not something that you can't do. He's not gonna assign something for you that that you can't do, you know. So, when God told Jonah to go preach to the people of Nivea and tell them to repent of what they were doing, uh, you know, again, he didn't want to do it, and you know, he ran away. He he tried to run away from God, and we all we all do that, you know. Um, there's something in all of us that is calling us, you know, to be better, and essentially calling us to God. And all of and sometimes we suppress it. Some people suppress it their whole life, and they end up dying, suppressing that calling that God has for them. And um, and believers, you know, God may assign us something that we don't think is that we don't think is right, that we don't think that is for us, you know. But God is the one who gave it to us, so He knows. <laughs> he knows. Uh, what's funny on a, on a side note, real quick. What's funny is that. Um, sometimes I like to 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 argue with God, you know, and if you believe if you believe God is who he say he is, if you believe God is all knowing, all powerful, created all things, then it's, it's kind of fruitless to argue with him. The, the only reason why you're capable of arguing with God is because he gave you God gave you reason. He gave you a mind to even think of an argument to argue with him you understand so really it's kind of fruitless to argue with god but people throughout the bible and even people today they all argue with god in one way or another you know david did and and, and plenty of others but but back to jonah jonah did not uh want to do the assignment of god that God gave to him. And after he basically told God no, <laughs> he decided to run and jump on a ship and and get away. He tried to run from God. And most of us know the story. He gets on the ship and then he uh he gets thrown off the ship and he gets swallowed by uh, a fish. 
and he's in the belly of this fish for uh, for three days and three nights. And while he was in the belly of the fish, you know, that's when he started talking to God, and you know, he essentially repented from that. But he was in the belly of a fish. And that to me sounds like hell. Sounds like hell uh, to be in the belly of a fish or the belly of the beast. When when we run away from the assignments that God has for us, it's when God gives us an assignment, it's for our own good. It is for our own good. When we run away from the assignment, we are essentially running away from God's grace and mercy. And we end up going we end up manifesting hell on earth, you know, and that's where Jonah ended up. He ended up in hell. He was underwater in an animal's um, bowels. And if it wasn't for God, he would have died there, you know, but God delivered him out of hell, essentially. And and yeah, and then Jonah went on to do his thing and and it worked out. It worked out. But you know, the the moral of it, man, if when we run for God, we run we're running into trouble. We running from God and we're running into trouble. We're running into hell. Essentially. At least that's that's what I got from it. But we, we we shouldn't, man. We shouldn't. I know that's easier said than done because God thinks highly of us, man, and he he wants to he's he's gonna allow us not to be he's not he's not he's not gonna tempt us to do evil, but he's gonna push us, you know, to 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 uh, to go through these things and to, to see for ourselves what we're capable of. You understand? Um, you're not going to know what you're capable of until you go through something that is tough and then you make it out of that. And that's when you know that you're strong. That's when you know that you have what it takes. You wouldn't know that you have what it takes unless you've been through that hard thing, you know? So going through trials going through situations that are tough and uneasy and extremely difficult um, are, are not always bad in the long term. Short term, yes, I understand that it's terrible, you know, to go through the things that people go through. But when we make it out at the end, we are stronger, we are better, and we are mentally better, we are spiritually better, and we're, we're just overall better people being purified through that fire. And we come out more solid, more grounded in, in our faith. So God is going to call you to do something. He's going to give you an assignment. And before we run away, Let's consider what we're going to be running to when we're running away from it. But let's consider the blessing for just accepting the assignment and and pushing through it and coming out on the other end stronger, better, wiser, more knowledge, more understanding, and more prepared for what's to come, you know. So, yeah, we are all like Jonah in a way. We all want to run away from God. But instead of being like Jonah and running away and ending up in the belly of the fish, ending up in hell, let us run towards the assignment. Let us run towards God so he can bring us out the other side as better people. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And um, if you enjoyed this, you know, let me know in the comments and uh, leave me a like. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about what, what was just said. And um, you guys have a great day, have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. All right, peace.